and Paige. Welcome back to the Chris and Paige show. I don't know if you've missed us. It's been a couple months. I think the last video was in August. Uh, Chris started a online um, full-time course. So that's been a, a busy schedule from Monday to Friday and homework and whatnot. And so our weekends have been kind of tied up with catching up with chores and whatnot. But uh, hopefully we'll try to make some time the next little bit to get some more haul videos up here but uh, yeah so I will go ahead I hope my hair is not too crazy it was cold here I was wearing my what do you call it my Bellaclava. yeah full <laughs> toque I I get a lot colder than Chris I think she went out wearing spring clothes we were very opposite today so um, so we went to Dollarama I believe I went there looking for Epsom salt and they didn't have any, which I've never seen, so we got everything else but Epsom salts. <laughs> um, not sure if there was anything else you wanted to did add. We, did we go to that location last time? This is a newer location in our city. They're um, downtown across from Superstore. It actually used to be a Your Dollar Store with more. It's kind of nice. It's a little bit smaller of a Dollarama, so it doesn't take as long to to get through. Krista likes to go down <laughs> every aisle. Well, she doesn't care about the Christmas aisle. We can skip that. But uh, but yeah, it's a really nice store. It's very, very organized and always uh, well stocked. So yeah, um, there's, you know, a lot of um, repeat buys and practical stuff, but there might be a few items that you might find new and interesting. So I will go ahead and just start with uh, the num nums as I call them, get them out of the way so they're not making noise. So just plain ripple chips, they're a little bit stronger. The last Dollarama store we went to, they had Ruffles chips, which were really good, but I didn't see Ruffles at this store. Um, this is a little bit better value than uh, the cans or Pringles. The Pringles are quite tall, but they're two fifty, and there was less in them, and this is only two bucks. And this one is pretty good, sour cream and onion, I believe. Yeah. It's a fairly big bag. This, um, I think you get a lot more chips in the bags than the, the Dollar Tree bags. And they're made in Canada. Yeah. And the soft Cheetos puffs. There's probably just one sitting there for sharing. <laughs> and Chris likes the Cheetos, um... Corn twists, kind of similar to the, is it Old, Old Dutch? Old Dutch popcorn twist, yeah. I think most of the $2 a bag. So I will just, um, no particular order. I'll try to stick to some order, but uh, Chris doesn't have a lot of time for lunchtime, so something quick and easy. So two cans of the mini raviolis. In the store, when I was putting them on the cashier there and um, they felt kind of light. I was like, I hope there's ravioli in there, but <laughs> they feel heavier now, so I think we're good. Um, I like just the original Werther's, like the hard ones, and these are a good dealer, only a dollar. And then Chris likes the fancier ones. What well, I called? like all the Werther's. Yeah. What do they call these? Eclairs? Eclairs. So it's, it's chocolate and then it has the Werther's caramel soft toffee on the outside. The last time I was uh, I was leaving the house with a friend and I wanted something in my mouth like when you're wearing a mask it kind of distracts me f that I'm wearing a mask right and she gave me a th it wasn't this one but it was a soft the caram just regular caramel chewy one. ones or whatever but yeah it was, it was stuck to my gums and everything I'm like I can't really exactly stick my hand and under my mask and yeah so I'm like I gotta just stick to the hard ones I think. <laughs> Okay, these are a good deal. So they're rice crackers of sesame. They're only a buck. I like it when things are actually only a dollar. Um, I want to stick with the food. And this is a good deal too. Uh, the lemon juice, it's only 63 cents. Didn't know that was so reasonable. So that was good to read on the receipt. Cans of just regular mushroom soup. 
These are handy to have on hand. Usually we put them in like pork chop and rice kind of dish. Or oh, if, I forgot to put the microphone on you. Oh, well, hopefully you can Speak hear up. me. <laughs> oh, can you always hear Chris okay? Yeah, so sometimes Chris will crave just eating the mushroom soup, but if not, it goes in a casserole. And this is always exciting to find the Harvest Crunch because they don't always have it. So this is the Canadian maple. And I think it's two fifty. This is probably five dollars in the grocery oh, store. Oh, at least, at least. I think it's the same size of box. Um, they also have apple, cinnamon, and original, I believe. And we had gotten this on our last trip, but we picked up another bag. Um, I don't know how you pronounce it. Chris calls it like fusili, fusili, or something. Yeah, tricolor fusili. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, um, most Saturdays we go to, uh, indoor farmer's market we have here and there's this company out of Calgary called, I want to say stock and sauce company. Yeah. And we tried their butter Parmesan. Um, I don't know, just a, just a, noodle so sauce. a sauce yeah. you could put on anything. And I think that's what we put on this and we love our garlic and Man, that was good. So I'm already thinking about that. <laughs> I'm gonna need more of that sauce for this. But, but yeah, I think this is only a dollar too, so that's a pretty good deal. So um, the sauce is kind of expensive. So I guess it, this kind of helps with the. We could try to make our own savings. Yeah. So. Um, two cans of coconut water. I'm not crazy about coconut water, but it is good if your stomach is upset. So Chris really enjoys that when she's not feeling great. But you do enjoy it just leisurely oh, yeah. drinking it. And too. It's, I think it's more hydrating than, than uh, water, like, I think. It's. And, you know, like, if you aren't feeling good, it's kind of a better option than, say, Gatorade, right? Because Gatorade has sugar in it. So I believe these are $1.25, so... Which is not bad. I think in a grocery store you'd pay a little bit more than that. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is probably my most exciting find. I'd never seen this at Dollar Round before. And I was curious about, you know, where it comes from or just something about the company. So it's called Bad Monkey. So this is take three for the evening. Uh, we had some technical difficulties with the phone. It stopped recording. So um, I will carry on with uh, where it cut us off. So this was the most exciting find of our shop. So it's called Bad Monkey. It's Chicago um, flavored popcorn. Uh, we Googled it and it's a Canadian company. It's out of Quebec. And you can order it, and it's free shipping. It uh, looks like the shipping is free when you purchase one of their boxes. So I believe you get nine bags. I think the size of the bags vary, but this is 145, was it grams? Grams, yeah. And it looks like the bags vary between that and 170. So it was like 40 bucks for a box. and There were um, some 300 gram ones too. Oh, there was bigger ones, yeah. so maybe family size ones. So I think it'd be like, you know, a nice gift or if you really enjoy to have popcorn frequently, you could treat yourself. Um, the website mentions it's like nut free, dairy free, vegan, kosher, uh, zero sugar. Uh, but I did read that the um, sugar they use is cane sugar, so at least it's a little better. Uh, low sodium, high fiber, it's a whole grain popcorn. Uh, so I think the website was badmonkeypopcorn.com if you want to check it out. I was joking earlier how we should ask them if they want to sponsor a video for us to get some free popcorn and try some more flavors out. But uh, like Chris said, I guess we'll try out this flavor first and see how we like it. But I said it's popcorn. I can't see why it wouldn't be good. But uh, yeah, so maybe on the next haul we'll let you know how it tastes. So... Oh, and resealable it, yeah, resealable, which I joked how I'm sure it won't get resealed here because if we each get half a bag, it's not going to get resealed. But nice feature nonetheless. 
Uh, I don't know if there's anything else you wanted to mention. Uh, some of their flavors sounded kind of fun. Uh, there was like chocolate and chocolate and sea salt, I want to say. Um, maple syrup sounded good. Uh, your usuals like dill pickle and cheese and what else was there? Original like the butter salt, ketchup. Trying to remember now. Um, and it sounds like if you order one of those boxes, they have like an exclusive flavor each month, and then it says plus free gift. So I'm not sure what the free gift is. I don't know if it's the special flavor of the month or if you get something it's extra. It's additional. Additional. Each okay. one additional. Yeah. So would be interesting to see what that is, but we'll try this first and see how it is. I think it was two fifty. Uh, so. Um, what was I going to say? I think it works out. To, it's, it's still cheaper than, oh, that was, what I was going to say, um, at our, uh, indoor farmer's market here one time, there was a company that was selling popcorn and I'm sure it was, I don't even know. Smaller than that. I'm I think sure. it was less than this and I think, yeah, it paid like $7. So 250 is a little bit better for our snacking habits. Uh, so when it was, when I thought the phone was recording, I had a funny story to go with these. So I have to retell the story and I hope it will sound equal, equally as funny. Sorry, just was making sure to see if the phone's still recording. Hopefully it is. Um, so these are called handy pockets. So I was looking at the packaging and, and, uh, I thought, well, that's, you know, handy. There's... <laughs> That's handy. Ironically, that's what they're called. So, you know, shows like for cleaning the bathroom or in your car or whatnot. Usually when I see stuff like this, I always think, oh, it's, uh, it, that'd be good for, for dusting. And if you've been here, you wouldn't think that anyone around here dusts. But anyways, I like something that makes dusting a little bit easier and quicker. So the story I had, well, I think it was Chris that had brought it up, um, Cause she's like, oh, you can fit your your hand in there, and and I was like, yeah. So, um, a few months back, it was, I think back in August, it was in the summertime, we installed a bidet toilet seat in our one bathroom, and uh, for you know, I was finding toilet paper kind of an irritant, so I started using just uh, like cutting up old clothes to use for drying cloths or whatnot and I found that uh, an old sock that was you know not great for wearing was too tight or whatnot I thought well I'll use this as a oh just our light in the background went off startled me and so I had mentioned to Chris I said I really like using the sock because especially if you get up in the night and it's just easy to use a sock and away you go right so I think she had done some research. She had Googled, well, is there such a thing for reusable toilet paper that would be like a sock or a mitten? Well, turns out there actually is, and it's a mitten and they call it a shittens. So when when I when we came home and we were looking at this and she's like, Hey, wouldn't that work to be a shittens for you? And I thought, well, it'd be kind of expensive for drying my butt but hey why not <laughs> so I don't think it's a Dollarama product because there's no Dollarama sticker on it and Chris went on their website and on there you can't even get a four pack I think it was only two packs so it works out to a dollar each so a little too much for me to use as <laughs> as drying cloths but uh, it's an option I suppose so <laughs> yeah Anyhow, my story might have sounded funnier the first time around, but uh, going with the shit and steam, um, we had purchased some of these last time, just some uh, laundry bags. Their mesh bags seem to be a little bit better quality than they used to be. The zipper is a bit more decent. So these are handy to put all my drying cloths in and then it can just go in the wash machine and I'm not spending. 10 minutes picking all these cloths out of the washing machine and dryer. So, anyhow, did. Oh, this was the other funny story we had mm -hmm. that didn't record. 
because these didn't get in the no. worst part, right? So these were kind of new to me. I haven't seen these before. And I thought, well, that's interesting. Is this the, yeah, this first one. So it's called potato salad. And I thought, well, that just screams preservatives to me. How is that going to taste? And then this other one is um, pasta salad with tuna in it. And when Chris was reading the ingredients on the potato salad, it has tuna in the ingredients. So I thought, geez, that wouldn't be very good if, you know, if we hadn't read that. And I decided, well, I'm going to try this one and she's going to have this. And then I'm chowing down and I was like, notice something strange because I'm not a tuna fan. So I don't know why they don't say potato, uh, potato salad with tuna like this one does. But I don't know. I think it's kind of expensive. It's two fifty, just a little bowl. Um, it says it's like no preservatives. What else? Is, I don't know. It claims it's all natural and stuff. Yeah, like but, no colorants and yeah. Stuff so like I don't know. I she's she's always up to trying everything twice, but <laughs> I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be brave enough to. But come to the free uh, fork. Yeah, she's all about the free fork. So. <laughs> I don't know, have to keep you posted. And it's a product of Spain, I believe. Um, did I have my spoons get in the first no. part? So I like a big spoon when I have liquids or soups or stews or whatnot. We had purchased uh, a full set of uh, cutlery from Dollarama a while ago, a few months back there. And I liked the spoons in it. It kind of reminds me like of a wonton wide spoon. And they still had those there, but I'm like, well, the forks and the knives were kind of lousy and thin and bent easily. But I liked the spoon. So Chris noticed they sell single ones of this, and these ones are even uh, heavy duty or the um, handle is stronger and whatnot. So you can get singles, $1.25 each. So I thought I'll try this. I don't know. I'm not usually a fan of heavy silverware, and these are. These are a little heavier, but give it a whirl. I only just got two to try. Chris likes a baby spoon. We're, yeah. We're very opposite with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how Twizzlers and Nibs jumped in the cart. I don't eat them. <laughs> so Twizzlers is a strawberry flavor. And the Nibs is cherry. Uh, they used to only be a buck twenty-five, And a little while back, Dollar Tree had increased their prices of Twizzlers to, or both you said, yeah. to a dollar fifty, and so Dollarama probably thought, hey, that's a good idea. Let's raise their prices as well. So there's our dollar seventy-five. So still better deal at Dollar Tree, I guess. But we haven't been to Dollar Tree surprisingly in quite a while. So had to get them there, but good to know it's still cheaper there at Dollar Tree. I've been craving some chocolate recently and we don't really have anything in here this was a little eye-catching and like I don't usually you know I'm okay with just a morsel or a square or something so I thought well this would do a couple servings so it's the arrow black forest haven't heard of this so it might taste like or sorry truffle arrow truffle so it might taste like cherry or something yeah black forest cake is what the flavor of it yeah. is yeah but it's a truffle and it's right I don't know how much it was actually, but it's a fairly thick bar. Yeah. So, like I said, probably like one one or two squares is enough for me because, you know, I only need a little bit to get my fix. I think that's all the food. Oh, I didn't mention no. this one. It didn't get in the first part. So these, you get a set of three, so they protect your, your pots and pans. We just use them for their frying pans. I guess we could put them in the pods, but we generally don't. Yeah. So there's like a magenta color, dark blue and a light blue. I didn't realize until we got home that they're four dollars, which is enough. Um, but they are uh, thicker than the other ones that we have. and Our other ones are kind of small, so I thought having a few more bigger ones would be good. Oh right, he doesn't like to <laughs> stay up there. So Chris picked out um, what do they call them? Pod skins? They're four dollars. For your um ear pods or your 
earbuds. So yeah, earbuds. She had gotten, uh, my mom had given her, she'd gotten free from a storage locker uh, from a, is it iPhone 11? Well, it says i11 on it, oh, and I okay. looked on Amazon, and I can't figure out if it's Knocks an actual back. iPhone product or a knockoff, but yeah. but I thought this would be nice for it. I wish they had purple, but they had pink, white, and black, and this this greeny blue. Kind of seafoam green? Seafoam greenish. Chris was going to get me a pink one, but I guess she would have had to take a bunch off, but I don't use this style of for of earbuds. I wear the old school headphones because my ears are so tiny. Mm -hmm. Chris always says they're freakishly small. Mm. And I can't even find, um, what do you call it, earplugs that I'm comfortable wearing. They all hurt. They're all too big, so. Yeah, comfortable with my, um, for snoring. Oh, you always say I yeah. snore. Yeah I, got, I, yeah, I got a pair of Canadian Tire. They were only like seven bucks. I think I tried them twice and yeah, it's just a little uncomfortable. <laughs> That penguin, penguin chin strap snoring device I had yeah. put on a video, that didn't work. Yeah, but. that was, I, I, it helped a little bit maybe, but yeah, it wasn't comfortable for you. I don't know if these got in the first part. No, they didn't. So, um, with my Sunset Gourmet that I started selling, we had made a pumpkin quick bread into muffins, and we ran out of the cupcake liners. I was going to get ones that were a little bit more colorful, but Chris liked the skull ones, of course. And he they got more with the yeah, skull ones. got more. We do have some silicone um, cupcake liners, but um, not sure if they were handy or not. I'm not Just sure. thought these would be uh, easy to have on hand and don't have to wash them out or whatever. So I think it's been two winters we've been on the hunt for these. So Chris calls it like a sock monkey print. <laughs> and yeah, anytime we've looked in the last little bit, they're always sold out. Uh, this was the biggest pair that she could find. It is size medium, so it's like 7, 8, which is smaller than my shoe size. But it's a similar style to what I have on right now. I kind of compared them and... They might work, and slippers do tend to stretch. So I do hope they work. Uh, if not, it'll be Merry Christmas to somebody. So. <laughs> and along with the Sunsor Gourmet, I uh, I do have sample containers somewhere. I just can't find them. But I thought if someone wants to try a sauce or a dip or whatnot, uh, here I am using Chris's language, whatnot. <laughs> so it says uh, 14 pieces. So... That might only be seven containers and seven lids. I'm hoping it's 14 of each, but not really sure. So just to have on hand. When we were almost done. I don't know if these got in the... No. Uh, so these are just uh, garbage bags scented for the bathroom. I went with the green apple scent because it sounded different than lavender or ocean breeze. <sighs> Nice color too, kind of same colors as iPod case. <laughs> and this is an actual Drav uh, Javex brand kitchen brushes. You get two for dollars a dollar twenty five. So Chris like scrubbing her dishes and oh, um, yeah, I to wash out uh, tin cans before yeah. I recycle. Them. Yeah, so hard to know how like you know the bristles don't seem top quality or anything, but. Not much money if they don't last. And the last item, Chris has been on the hunt for one of these for a while. It's a cargo net for in the back of the SUV. We call it our bus. <laughs> so a lot of times our groceries is rolling around back there. So hopefully this will contain it. Uh, like she said, it only shows like a soccer ball and... Couple water bottles. Yeah, but so it might not be exactly what I was hoping for, but we'll give it a try. Give it a try. I mean, I don't know how much one from Canadian Tire would mm -hmm. cost. Probably twenty bucks. There is. I could feel the material through the front here, and feels okay. But that's probably also just the roof. So I don't know how the actual netting will be. But yeah, so a few new finds that we've been kind of on the hunt for. So, sorry again that it's been so long since we've 
done a haul. Hopefully we'll be able to make a, a time in December to have another one if we feel there's enough interesting things. Sometimes we just go buy some practical things that I know it might be kind of boring. But yeah, I thought the popcorn and the, the cargo net and the slippers were something different. So. So hope you enjoyed it. If you like my shitting story, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> or a poop emoji. Yeah, poop emoji. <laughs> so we will see you in the next one. Take care.